Yay Networks. Are we rolling, Garrett? Nope. G Money Garrett, our super producer. You guys can't see off camera, but you can probably hear him slurping on his coffee right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> He's such a jerk. Welcome back to another episode of the Perfect Pair Podcast. Mm-hmm. Rock Teasy is who I be. And I'm Crystal. Rock Teasy better have. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we just got back from a little vacation, right? We did. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, man. The Bahamas is just like, I just love it. I don't I don't think you can ever go wrong going to the Bahamas. You can't, man, especially when you when you get into the to the right areas of it. You know, right. they got great resorts out there, but even getting off the resort and going into the into the the community. Right. It's fun too. You get them. Oh my goodness. When you go to Bimini Bahamas, I'm I'm already getting sidetracked. Anyway. I was like, babe, <laughs> you got they don't want to hear that about Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> What is wrong with you? All right, let's go. Let's get back on track. What are we talking about today? I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so oh, this person wants to ask you these questions. Oh, more questions for me that I do I get a chance to answer? (laughs) Yes. Because if y'all watched the episode where they all the questions were supposed to be for me, (laughs) she would ask the question. I would start answering, and then guess who would jump in and answer the question for me? Like almost every time. Okay. Today's different. Is a new day, and God is still working on me. <laughs> so I'm saying that ahead of time. Okay, so you gonna you gonna talk about? I'm gonna tell you. She wants me to tell you her story first, and then she got questions to ask you. Okay. Okay. Let's get it popping. Okay, so she's 30 years old. She okay. has three kids. Right. And she's with the baby daddy. She's been with him now for like 10 years. He has asked her to marry him a few times, but, like, she respectfully turns him down because she feels like they need to go to counseling. Okay. And the reason why they need to go to counseling because he's always cheating on her. Mm. So she's like, I don't want, we need help before we can even move forward or move past this. And so, but... She said, she was like, just to tell you the kind of dynamic that they have, because he constantly kind of makes her, belittles her. She has low Mm self-esteem. She doesn't know if she's just being sensitive or not. So whenever, uh, you know, that song came out, WAP by Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. You ain't even got to explain what them letters mean with WAP. Y'all know what it is. (laughs) Wet ass P word. Y'all know what that is. That is, (laughs) look how he looks. He got nervous. He was like, here she go. <laughs> I thought it meant something else, though. I mean, I, I know the P word is the P word. Yeah, some wet ass. Because that's what it right. is. Okay, go ahead. Go you ahead. What you think it was? But you said it went from WAP to HOP. Well, yeah, and he, he said her stuff went from WAP to HOP. Horrible ass oh. P. <laughs> that's what he said hus went to. So he just kept saying that throughout the house that that's and then said that is reason why he had he went out there and cheated because it's not as good anymore. And she's like, you know, I'm tired from running around with the kids, going to work, so mm-hmm. on and so forth. She was like, because I handle most of all the extra activities for the kids. Okay. She said, so I'm just tired, so I'm not excited. And she doesn't know that like She's just not excited to be with him and want to have sex with him. And she's thinking, like, people have told her it's a mental thing. It's probably mental. And she doesn't know. She's not sure if it's really mental, but she doesn't understand why she's just not excited to be with him. Okay. And that may be the reason why he is. Because she knows because she doesn't want to do it with him, somebody else will. Right. So she wants to know. Is this question number one? It's about to be, yes. Okay. So Because I already got my answer. I think I know what you're going to ask. Okay. Go ahead. No, she wants to know if your wife is not pleasing you in the bedroom. Is that how you tell her? Are you just so blunt or is she being so sensitive? (laughs) I'm confused. Oh, why? Is that your first question? (laughs) That's what I'm confused about. Why is this your first question? (laughs) So ask the question one more time so I can understand what I'm about to answer. If your wife is not pleasing you in the bedroom, okay. is this how you tell her? Are you just that blunt? 
Yeah. I mean, or is she being too sensitive? No, you got you got to there's there's a way that you can do it. No, I wish the, you would tell me I got a hop. <laughs> a walk to a hop. But there's a way. I, I'm I'm a firm believer in being blunt. You got to be blunt and honest with your mate. But, you but there's a blunt. way. I'm about to say, you've been blunt with me, and yeah. that never came off like where it was. That's that would have bothered me. And That's I would have just talked bad about you on purpose just because you made me feel some type of way. Am I supposed to answer this question again? <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I need you to know, don't be lying. Say, hey, you that damn blunt. You don't do it like that. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to explain. <laughs> Can I get all my answer out first? Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm really trying. I, I really am. Okay, I am. I'm going to be quiet. I'm not going to say nothing. First of all, okay. yes, you got to be blunt and honest with each other. Mm -hmm. The second part of that is, but it's how you do it. <laughs> okay. It's how you do it. Mm -hmm. And if you do it the right way, the feelings may still get hurt. Because anytime you tell someone what they don't want to hear, their feelings are going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. They can front and complain like they don't, like it don't bother me. But a little bit, their feelings are going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. But if you do it the right way, it won't be as bad. So, yes, be blunt, be honest, but just do it in a more tasteful manner. So you don't say you're not as blunt like him. No, nah, like I would tell you something like. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Please tell me on this podcast. Ooh. I would have to let me think. Let me ponder on that for a moment. No. Move on to the next question. No. <laughs> Fellas, don't get caught in no. that trap like I almost did. <laughs> next question, please. <laughs> we'll keep it positive with positivity water. Babe, you ought to be shamed. You ought to be shamed. Okay. And she wants to know um, should. Should she get counseling, sex counseling, on how to be more pleasing to her husband? So let me say this. And why is that your second question? I just... <laughs> See, all her questions all jacked up, they all of order. <laughs> let me say this. First of all, to me, just listening to the little bit of the story that you just explained, it sounds like that, in my opinion, they're going to be wasting each other's time anyways. He wants her just for comfort, to have someone at the house... That he can, that's his main, that's his main lady. But he's still going to do what he got to do. This, this is what I'm getting out of it. He's still mm -hmm. going to probably have some side chicks and some women on the side or whatever. But he know he's got that, that main girl at the house that really got his back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For her, man, if he ain't giving you no signs yet that this is probably not going to work. Now, I'm just going off the little bit of information that I just learned. Right. I don't know these people. That's enough. Shit, what you mean? But it sounds bit. like it doesn't matter what you do as far as the counseling, as far as the the the, the you always want to get some good mental help for your for your purpose alone, just for you. But even if you do that, it's just uh, nothing nothing's healthy about this whole situation. With or without counseling, in my opinion, going off of what I just heard. Now it sounds like she's a little bit insecure too. And he probably helped make that happen. Okay. Yeah. He he doing it to her. Which is why this is not a good situation. So what are you telling her, Cole? Her next, her last question, which just baffled me, because honestly, lady, I feel like this should have been your only question. Mm. Should you leave? Mm. Or should you marry him? I'm going to answer that question. After these messages, <laughs> we'll be right back. So, to be blunt and oh. direct in the right. nicest way possible, I don't see no positive action happening with this situation. So, I think she should just go ahead and, um, you know, call it quits. And uh, I hate that word quit, but I just don't see this being turning out happily ever after. So, that's just me. I just, I just see she might as well go ahead and just pick up on the signs. Follow the story that has already been built up to this situation that she's asking this question for a reason. She's obviously got to a point in this relationship where it's like, I don't know what to do. Or should I stay? Should I go? Should I do this? Should I do that? At that point, it's you're almost, I know it's case by case, 
But I just don't see anything positive happening out of this. So I think he should go ahead and just. He's so nice, ain't he? Yeah. Why are you so sweet about it? Just The sooner you can cut it. Get your ass out that damn relationship. Cut that thing, man. Cut it. You ain't even married, baby. Get your ass out of there. And why wasn't that your first question after you told the story? You You asking about what I say and how he comes at me. It don't matter. It don't matter how any other man do with his wife, how that wife do with that husband. Anybody. Else's relationship, it don't matter because we talking about your shit in your situation, and you need to get your ass up out of there because he is making your self esteem low. And when somebody can bring the worst out of you, you need to run from their ass. Do Message. you hear me? Run. He should be bringing the best out in you, and you need to be coming back at his ass about telling him, "Well, hell, he ain't that good either." Because that's why I don't want you. Tell him that's why you're not excited about him because he ain't that good. But see, that's being, that's, that's being petty. No, that part. no, uh, because guess what? Why he not that good? Because he ain't coming home doing and treating you right. He ain't making you No, we ain't talking about good. that part. We talking about. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you not that good. Let me explain why you not that good. Because your ass don't know how to stay home and keep your little pee-pee sitting here in this household. <laughs> but it's out there in the streets somewhere. Yeah. That is exactly why right, I, it ain't good. Right, but I'm talking, no I'm talking about so I'm going to say it. I'm, he needs somebody to tell his ass that he needs you. <laughs> To stand up for yourself because he has gotten you down so low to where you won't stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself and tell him why his ass is not exciting and attractive to your ass no more. Because look at him. I'm pretty sure he look ugly when he come home. He do. He has to look ugly. Can't nobody be fine doing shit like that. And I wish you would. You would be ugly to me. i fight your ass. I would. I, I would fight my that. husband. <laughs> I would fight him. There's no way. You're going to tell me my <laughs> wop went to a hat. What about you? And what yours looking like? I don't even want to answer. And because I wouldn't even miss it. Obviously, I'm not missing it because I'm not begging for it. And you come home. So, girl, leave his ass. Oh, That's man. what you need to leave. And go to counseling so you can build up your self-esteem so you can be secure within who you are. Because, honestly, I don't think anything wrong with you but your mind for staying with him. No, so, I don't know about that part. What? What you just said. I don't think anything wrong with her. Yeah. But her mind right. for staying with him. Okay, so that's a big that's a big problem. <laughs> right. That's a big problem. But I did say, but your mom, that's why I say go to counseling so you can work on that stuff, so you can work securing yourself. But working about your sex and all that stuff, I mean, you can do that too. But for the next man, but I'm pretty sure when you find a man to treat you right, girl, you're going to be able to throw it on him the way he needs it. Throw that's that thing got- in the circle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give it to him the way he wanted because he's making you happy. Think about it. When a man Look, makes a woman happy, we do things to make him happy. Right. Times but, and ten. But the let's just get straight to the point. This ain't gonna ha- this ain't gonna end. Just I, I already told her. That's why I say leave and get counseling for herself. Like this is for her. Right. For herself. This ain't for her to be with him and stay with him. No, this is for you, and you need to get up out of there. So let me talk to the that. homie. Let me talk to the homie real fast. For him. What? Let me talk to him. He got every right to hear what some kind of opinions. He, shoot, he got look. Okay, you do, you do. So I can't wait to give mine. Go ahead. Yeah, give we yours. we already know you can't wait to give yours. Okay. Let me see if I can get okay. mine. Do I need to get some duct tape? <laughs> Do I need to get some duct tape to put on that dog on my for yours? I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. I am. So for real. to the homie. Hmm. Man, Why quit, is he your homie though? Quit, quit playing yourself, bro. Mm-hmm. Quit playing games with your girl. You don't even want her no more. That part. Like, you don't want her no more. She's convenient to you, and that's why you want to keep her. For convenience only. Don't disrespect her like that, bro. So you be the one to say, hey, maybe this is a time that we've come to the point in our lives where it's time to go our separate ways. Hopefully we can continue to be friends. But if not, I understand. And be done with it. That's it. You sorry. That's why I feel like you sorry piece of shit at this point. You sorry. You ain't worth two dead flies. I'm for real. The reason why you ain't worth them two dead flies. Depends on how much two dead flies are worth. Okay, don't. He ain't worth two dead flies. And the reason why I'm saying this 
is because you keep coming back to her because you know she's the only one that's going to put up with your little sorry ass and she knows who you truly are. Message. Because them other women don't know who you are because when they fight, when they start to get to know who you are, they don't want your ass no more. So that's why it's always another woman. Mm-hmm. You said something right there. So you just staying with her, like he said, for convenience, but you just really don't want to be with her. You trying to be out here and portray you some type high, high. You know them men that come out there and fake like they somebody, but they not. Mm-hmm. And you spending your wife money because it really ain't yours because you Ooh. ain't making that much. We call them baby boys. Right. The Jodies. <laughs> right. The Jodies. And trying to make it seem like you the man of the house and you not, you not running stuff. She's allowing you and trying to help you feel like you the man of the house. At the end of the day, you know you're not a man. Go back to your mama where she can take care of you because Ooh. you don't deserve this woman. Ooh. That's what I feel about you. Ooh. And you still ain't worth two dead flies. Mm. There it is, man. So, look, that was mm. easy. That was easy. That was easy. I mean, you know, we, we, we come from a perspective of. Do you want me to ask you some more questions? You got some more? I got a couple of more that we can ask on another Are story. they your questions or are they, they still from her? No, this was a story I heard, but these are my questions for you. I'm going to let you answer them, too. Go for it. You want me to ask you right? You want me to tell you the story now? Oh, this is a whole other story? Yeah. Like? I think it should be for another episode, but okay. It's going to get like that? It's it's going to get lengthy? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this one. (laughs) Let me tell y'all something real fast before we get up out of here. This podcast is literally. Don't do that. Is literally. You feel so Therapy. Oh, it is. He ain't lying. He's telling the truth. For both, <laughs> for both of us in general, but especially for her. <laughs> Rocky. But you know what? He ain't lying. He I is love not it. lying. I love it. You know why I love it? Why? It's because we get the chance to hash out a lot of stuff and discuss a lot of things that we even go through on the podcast. So by the time we get out of the episode and we're back doing our normal daily living life, We've already discussed it, talked about it with you guys, sharing our personal situations of how we handle certain things, Mm -hmm. and we move on. And we don't even come back and revisit it unless you guys bring up another topic that's similar to what we got going on. But I love it. Like, this is like, we've never been in a, this is the best space that we've we've been in in, in, uh, since we've been together. I would, I would. Since we started doing the podcast, like for real. (laughs) Right, right. Y'all don't understand. Some of them are beginning episodes. (laughs) That that shit was coming straight from home. Do you hear me? We were sitting there and I'm doing everything I can because we didn't know Garrett well. So if Garrett would have known us real well, we probably really would have acted a fool. But I would still try to compose myself because I didn't want to run Garrett off. Right, right. When Garrett left for one point in time, then he came back. He did. So you might have ran him off. I did. He might have went, now that I think about it, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> he went back to the boss and said, mm, <laughs> Rock's cool, but that crystal? Right. Can you move me around we a little bit have. in the company? <laughs> <laughs> you don't do Gary like that. I know Gary. The truth comes out. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's probably, no, but for real, during that time, we was really going through that stuff. Yeah, man, for real. Like that time when I said the friend trying to act like she your friend and you need to back your wife up whether you think she right or wrong. Mm-hmm. We went through that. Sure did. We, Look. Siri, he don't want to talk about it no more because he knew. No. Well, he I'm knew. about to say, oh. if you're new to the podcast and you really haven't, and we used to do this all the time, especially when we first started. Man, go to episode number one. Oh, yeah. Take your time. And just listen to every episode. I guarantee you, <laughs> something in every episode is going to relate to you, and, or in your relationship in some form or fashion. And it's going to be uh, it's it's going to be pretty amazing for you. So keep keep listening and watching the week to week now the current ones. Mm-hmm. But when you got some downtime, go back to the beginning and just kind of catch your way all the way up. I promise you, you'll thank us later. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get on a good out of here, man. Make sure y'all continue to tell a friend to tell a friend. Download, subscribe, all that stuff. Follow us on social media at The Perfect Pair Podcast, YouTube channel, all that good stuff. We'll see y'all next week, pimping. Bye. Deuces.